Hello drone smiths, this is Amanda and you're watching the Skyworks Aerial Systems video blog. Today we'll be talking to Chief Software Architect Jeff Gardner where he'll be giving us an in-depth look into Forge and some of its features. Come check it out. So Forge is our software development environment for Edu. It's web-based, which means it can run on your phone, on your tablet, on your laptop, uh, on your PC, anything. And it's used to interface with Edu to create drone applications and essentially have it do whatever you want, whether you wanted to do some kind of autonomous mission, you wanted to play laser tag with another Edu. It's designed to, to do all of these different things. Forge comes with a set of tools uh, that we call mods, and these are sort of the features of Forge. They're designed to be modular so that people can add and remove them, contribute to them through open source, and be able to add different mods or change the mods to their default profile. Since Forge is open source, people will be able to jump in and edit it. We've developed the mod system under a unified framework. So it's very easy for anybody who wants to build their own mod and which would be their own feature to Forge to be able to add that on. All they have to do is essentially take the template and the framework that we supplied and, and build their own mod on top of that. They would contribute to the source and then everybody could have access to that. So Forge comes with uh, five basic tools. We have our terminal tool, which allows you to program using a standard terminal interface. So this is similar to uh, Arduino or to a standard programming text editor and console. We have our blocks. They're little functional pieces of certain things like flight, sensors, motors that can be dragged and dropped into the environment. Uh, they have input and output nodes and can be connected together. And if you want to, you can also jump in and do inline JavaScript as well. Through the MyForge mod, you can create your own tutorials, your own apps. Um, you can also post help requests as well in MyForge and other people can respond to your help requests and the two of you can collaborate. Uh, we also have the Hangar tool which allows you to manage your different sensors, your EDUs, uh, different controllers and configure them, calibrate them. Uh, we're trying to put that, as much of that under the hood as possible but nevertheless we have a tool there uh, as a unified way for people to, to interface with that. We also have our Flight Planner tool which has two modes. Our pilot mode supports three forms of manual control, standard radio control, Bluetooth control, and over Wi-Fi, which would be through Forge itself. So Forge can be configured through the web view to control it on your phone or on your tablet or whatever. We also have autonomous mode, which allows you to do mission planning similar to what you see in other existing ground control station software. Forge provides you with your own cloud to store any kind of information, your apps, tutorials, any other kind of information such as flight details, mission details, um, any kind of information that you want. We want Forge to be a simple and easy to use interface for people to build their own tools and features on top of to make it easy for anybody to jump in and create cool drone applications. We want Forge to be a simple layer where people can add that hides the complexity and makes it easy for you to build what you want on top of it and to connect people together to build what they want to build. And that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more updates on Forge and Edu. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media.